here is the back side of my cross stitch piece. I am about to flip it over to the front. On the side here is the selvage area, and here are my stitches. I am working on the bottom right quadrant of this stitch. Right now I'm pinning down with my sewing clips the excess fabric around the main stitched piece so I can stitch in hand and have my fabric that I am not utilizing already rolled up and ready and out of the way. I am pinning all four sides down. While I do stitch in hand, I like to have my excess fabric rolled up and I find that it is a lot easier for me to adjust my fabric as I go using the slowing clips versus a hoop or a cue snap. Hoops and cue snaps are invaluable and I recommend them for various stitching projects. However, I am stitching in hand and we're gonna start with a modified pin stitch with the Sulky Blendables 12 weight cotton petite. And this is the colorway Sunset and it's got a beautiful variegation and an orange and a yellow. So what I did was I came up the center, then I am going up the top right hand corner, then I'm gonna be coming down in the lower left hand corner and then back through the center. Each time I'm doing this, I'm doing a gentle tug to secure that thread in place. Now we're gonna complete this stitch. As you can see, there's a tail end. I did a gentle little tug. We're gonna finish this first stitch and we're gonna continue stitching and I will go back and clip the end of that tail of that thread so I don't have any excess thread hanging. So there is the first stitch. Now I'm gonna start the second stitch. And we're lining our stitches up all one way. So first stitch goes in the upper right. Now I'm gonna come down and then over. Now this is a sewing in hand method. Over two, down, up in the left, down in the right up in the left, over two, down in the right. Stitching in hand is really fun and I've sped up this video so I'm not stitching as fast as it might appear on film, but I am crossing each X. I'm going over two strands of the flax fiber or linen. I'm going to complete this stitch and in a moment you're going to see me drop my needle. I'm doing that to allow the thread to untangle. This just helps to eliminate my thread knotting up unnecessarily. It happens with all threads. Just every couple stitches you can let your needle down and dangle. Now I'm going to continue to stitch. As you can see I am traveling from left to right with the two stitches, oh, it's so much fun. I love cross stitch, I love stitching in hand. Can you see the variegation starting to come through here? You start to see that yellow popping through on this 12 weight. So I'm stopping what I'm doing right now and I'm looking at my pattern and I'm marking off with my highlighter those stitches so I don't lose count or lose my place. Oh, what a joy to stitch. Next example is also going to be stitching in hand using a blue blendables color. And I'm using an even smaller piece of fabric to demonstrate stitching up and down. I have to start off with my modified pin stitch. I have my finger secured on the tail of the thread. I'm going up in the right and then back down into the center, then bottom left, and then back up into the center to start that initial pin stitch. And I'm doing an initial little tug to make sure that that thread is secure. Now I'm gonna complete this stitch, complete the X as it were. And I just showed you stitching from left to right on my colorful sampler. And now I am changing directions in the way that I'm stitching. Now I'm going right to left. 
And keep in mind, I want all of my stitches to go the same way for my threads to lay the same way, meaning whatever thread starts on top is going to stay the thread that is on top throughout my piece. Again, going right to left. Now, I didn't learn this overnight. This takes practice. Now I'm gonna start stitching down, counting over two and down, completing each X as I go. Now, if you don't have a variegated thread, you don't have to complete the X as you go. If you wanted to go all the way across and then all the way back, that would be fine. You have to be comfortable stitching. But again, with the variegation, I recommend completing each X. Here you can see I'm going down. I've done several stitches and now I'm about to let my needle down I'm going to dangle my needle to let the thread unwind. And that, again, is just to help keep my thread from knotting. It keeps the project running all really smoothly and not having to stop to unravel. Again, this happens with all threads. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna start counting over two. Now going again from left to right. I'm making almost a box with this making sure all my threads are going one direction. Boy, is it so much fun to stitch. I love cross stitch so much. The possibilities are endless. Your fabric choices, your color choices. Again, Sulky has over 100 different colors of the 12 weight cotton petites to choose from in stitching. Just phenomenal. I'm gonna start stitching upwards and making my stitches go from bottom up, trying to complete that square. Holding with my hand, I have one of my fingers on the back kind of pressing up. I stop to look at my project, see how the stitches are going. I'm in the bottom left, I'm gonna go up into the top right over to the top left and then down. Counting up two, over the top right, over the top left, back down, bottom right, up to the top left. Up two in the top right over to the top left, pull through, and then back down the bottom right up into the top left. And that's to stitch upward. How much fun is that? Now I'm gonna start just unraveling the thread. I'm gonna pull my needle off and I'm gonna use my needle to pick out the thread. That's just to show, say, if you have a counting error or there's a mistake and you need to go back and fix it. If there's just a couple stitches, you can always use your needle to pull out those threads and do some recounting. You might have to use a seam ripper or scissors. Here, I'm gonna take that tail off, cutting as close as I can to the base of the linen without puncturing the linen fabric. Always cut your tail ends off because it makes finishing a lot easier in the long run when you already have all those tails cut off and secure. You want to have a clean back. I'm rolling these in my hands. I don't have any sewing clips to hold this fabric down. But again, I'm going to stitch from the top. bottom left, up top right, top left, down bottom right. Hope you enjoy cross stitch and counting 
It's so much fun. It really has brought a lot of joy to my life. Happy stitching. Thank you.